Hey guys, it's AXT9484 here again with Rhino Part 2 for Beginners Tutorials and Tips. This is going to be a very basic and quick tutorial for beginners. Okay, but today we're going to be making a very basic dining room table. So what you want to do is you want to go to this, the rectangle tool over here in the left corner and click it. Uh, I showed you the two point in the last one, but this time I'm going to show you a, a three point. So go over here, type three point, and hit your first point, your second point, and your third point. And I'm just guesstimating sizes for this quick tutorial, but that looks about the size of a dining room table. Alright, so now you want to click the, uh, the curves and type in planar surface. And this builds the surface that's in between the curves, so it makes an actual object. So now, click the surface, and we're going to do a cool little tool called Offset Surface, SRF. And this uh, offset distance, that's about how thick it's going to make it. You can see these white lines right here. That shows which direction uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to offset it. You can click Flip All, and it goes up, Flip All down. And also, you want to click Solid right here, so you know it's a single solid object when it makes it. So I'm going to do 2.5 about the thickness of a tabletop and hit enter. Cool, now we have this nice little tabletop object. But it's a little sharp on the edges, so what I want to do is I want to round these edges off. So you want to type in fillet edge. Okay, and I'm going to do about a half an inch of, a, of an edge. So, boom. So hit enter after you type in your dimensions and go and click every edge that you would like to fillet. I'm just going to do the corners and the top. So just hold down shift and your right mouse button to kind of move it side to side and uh, right mouse button to move it globally if you haven't seen the first video. Okay. So now that I have all my edges clicked, and uh, I just want to hit enter. And it shows you a little preview. Uh, they look about right, so let's hit enter. All right, perfect. That's a nice little tabletop. It's already starting to look like a dining room table. Okay, so now that we have this made, let's go get out of perspective. Just double click the little button up here. And we're going to kind of guesstimate the size with a circle tool. You can see the left corner. We're going to guesstimate the size of a leg. So that looks about right. Oh, where did it go? Okay, what I want to do is, I just because I lost it, I want to hide this. All right, great. So now you can see. And uh, hiding, that just hides it for a second. It doesn't delete it, so just it helps you uh, so you can make other parts. Okay, so I have my basic leg, the outside. And what I want to do, I, I kind of want to add a little of a, of a taper to the leg, make it look more realistic. So I want to type in offset. And this is just going to like add the same curve, kind of smaller or bigger, however you think. See, this is bigger inside, is smaller. And so I'm going to do about 0.15 of an inch offset and then I'm just going to click in the inside and click enter and it builds this curve in the inside. Okay so now that I have that curve built I just want to take it and pull it straight down uh, pull it straight down to about the distance of the leg. Okay and if yours if your uh, rhino is not keeping it straight just go down here and hit planar, planar on, planar off, turn it off will kind of keep it uh, ortho, ortho and planar kind of keeps it straight on track so I just want to keep playing on ortho on. Okay, so now that I have, I don't really need this square curve anymore, so let me just delete that. Actually, you know what, I will need it because I'm going to be uh, copying all the legs. So what I want to do is I want to go to my polyline tool and I just want to find uh, the quadrant. And if your uh, rhino isn't showing quadrant, you want to turn on O snap right here which uh, helps you uh, find the points on the object that you're trying to make. So you can see right here I have quadrant on, quadrant on and I'm going to leave it on. Alright, so quadrant separates it into four uh, parts of a circle. So I found my first quadrant. Now I just want to go up and let me just go to perspective and make it a little, a little easier to see where I am. And I'm going to go up and I want to find my second quadrant right there. Boom. And hit enter. Alright. Great, now I, you can see I have my two points connected, my two circles. Let's see if I can rotate it to a better view. Okay. So now I'm going to do a tool called Sweep 2. And what it does, it finds two rails, one, two, and a cross-section curve, which is this cross one I just made. And it's going to sweep it completely around and make a nice little surface. 
So what I want to do is I want to type in sweep two. All right. So I already have my first row clicked. You can see it's highlighted yellow, and I want to hit my second row. Okay. So now I have my two rails, and now I want to select my cross section curve, which is the cross section I just made, and hit enter. Hit OK. Right, great. I have my table. My table leg, it, it looks kind of large, so let me show you a trick to make it a little smaller. So just click it and then type in scale 1D. And this is going to scale it in a single dimension. Scale, uh, the regular scale, scales it in all dimensions. So what I want to do, scale 1D, I want to click my first line, make sure I'm doing a straight uh, planar or ortho line, and then just click and now I just want to kind of make it a tad bit smaller alright that looks about that looks about right okay let me do you can just delete these curves once you uh, you have your leg and then let me show the table so I can see where about it's looking at alright that looks about that looks pretty nice actually so actually it could go up a tad bit more so I'm just gonna pull it in where it would kind of fit under the table. Alright, that's perfect. There we go. Okay, so now you want to select that that foot you just made and we're going to mirror it, which is going to mirror it from the midpoint, which is this little or uh, halfway across here to the other side. So type in mirror after you selected the leg, mirror. Okay, and make sure your O snap is on and your midpoint box is selected down here or on Mac. It's a little different, but it's all the same command. So find your mid and then just hold down shift or uh, make sure you're playing our ortho on and just pull it till it's on the other side. Great. So now you can see we have our two legs. It just mirrored it perfectly across it. We know it's all perfectly even. Okay, so now I want to select the two and I want to mirror it perfectly across to the other side. So I have my two selected and type in mirror again. And so I'm going to find my midpoint again and just pull it. Pull it till you find the right spot and boom, there we go perfect four leg table they're all perfectly even it looks pretty nice and if you hit the little render ball up here it shows you what it look like in person you can also if you check out my other video I showed you how to add color but Rhino is really not much of a rendering program uh, you really want to pull it into another program which I'm about to show you to show the realism of it 